here in Hollywood, California. I hope you guys are having one heck of an evening. I got some great stuff coming up all night long. I hope you're, you can stay with me tonight. I'm going to show you something, though. You know why, Wilson? If you do, please tell me because I know. I'm joking. I want to show this. This is an ad that I printed, put in satellite, C-band satellite monthly, announcing my first show on TV, June 21st, 1991. Today, I have now finished 32 years on TV, and I'm starting my 33rd year tonight. Yeah. You believe that, ladies and gentlemen? A third of a century. I'm old, Wilson. I'm really old. Hey, Wilson, you want to see my pedophile picture? All right, this is my only pedophile picture that I'm going to show you. No. You see that blonde sitting there? That is Jennifer. At the time, she was only 19, Wilson. I was 29. I married her. Uh, but this was, she came on my second or third show. This show that you're looking a picture of happened exactly in the same place, just one floor higher at Keystone Communications. Yes, that was a long time ago. And... So thank you all. Oh, here's, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, here's what uh, the late Marty Weiss kept saying, Barry, we need to draw a picture of you. And that's what Bargain Barry, the picture that they put in. This was a C-band world. Uh, G6, Channel 23, that meant Galaxy 6. That was the old time satellite. Wilson gets that, yeah. And this is how uh, one publication described it. They were, this is 33 years ago. What does that say, Wilson? A different type approach to shopping, uh, bargain berries, whatever channel, where anything can happen and is going to happen. Yeah. So I just wanted to share that with you. 33 years. Hang on, Ashley. Yeah, I still got a pulse. Folks, I got some amazing Zacks. Zacks just had one heck of a auction at Julian's in Beverly Hills where one of the pieces went for over $10,000. Not only was it so successful, Heritage Auction House now has uh, some Zacks coming up in their auction. I have plenty of Zacks. What is that, Wilson? No, that noise. Oh, it's a party. All right. Well, I'm going to party hardy, Marty. Uh, well, folks, I want to thank you for tuning in. Got a lot of cool stuff tonight. I'll tell you what I am going to. Here. This pile right here, Wilson. I have been right probably, I'm still alive, more times than I've been wrong. This is a pile I thought was going to take off. I thought after selling Scripophily, uh, uh, you know, uh, vintage pocket watches and everything, that this would be the next trend. I started in the late uh, mid-90s, and I thought, this is it, Ashley. This is where people are going in the future. I was wrong. This is BC2164. This is a doodle that he doodled on March of 2004, Steve Gutenberg. That ain't going to work, is it, Wilson? 
All right. Stay, Steve. Yeah. And you know what's cool about Steve Gutenberg? Not only did he star in Cancun 1, Cancun 2, he got to star with Raquel Welch's daughter in Cancun. You know what the most important thing is, Wilson? He was in Police Academy 1, 2, and 3. And he took time out in 2004 to doodle that for the homeless, to feed the homeless. I paid a fortune for it because I, I thought Steve Gutenberg, he still is, funny guy. But I'll tell you what, retail, when I bought it, was like seven to $800 dollars. I'm going to open this auction on a Steve Gutenberg doodle. Are you ready for this? $50 to open. That is Steve Gutenberg. The Steve Gutenberg. Wilson, you've been all over the place. Have you ever been on a date with Raquel Welch's daughter? No. No. Okay. No open at 50. Ah. Tell you what. Call in real fast. I'll sell it to you for 30 bucks. Otherwise, I'm going to go find Steve Gutenberg's house and say, Steve, I've been a big fan. And I haven't been able to sell this. Could you add some details to it? Or could you... Could you tell Wilson and I what it was like dating Raquel Welch's daughter? <laughs> Can I get in trouble for that? Maybe. All right, no one opened at 50. Okay. This might be a losing cause, Ashley. But I'm not going to give up yet because I have one that is just too good to pass on. That is not. This is my, I can't sell this. I know this guy. Oh, thank you, Michael and Diane. This is the late Chuck Connors. I, uh, no, it's not. This is Mario Lemieux. Look at that. Mario Lemieux, the greatest hockey player. One of the greatest hockey players of all time. The Mario Lemieux. Do you know how many goals Mario Lemieux has, sco has scored, Wilson? No. I don't either, but it's more than me. That is Mario Lemieux. You know his autograph is worth three, four hundred dollars. And on top of that, this is not on a hockey puck. You can frame this. You got a drawing of the Pink Panther done by Mario Lemieux. Six hundred and ninety. Six what? Six hundred and ninety goals. Six hundred and ninety goals. That is six hundred and ninety more than I did, but uh, someday, maybe in the next lifetime. Tell you what, that is a five hundred dollar autograph. Plus, he drew the Pink Panther. Fifty dollars to open. $20 increments after I get the open. What? Yes. That's signed by Mario Lemieux. <laughs> and if they don't like it, I'm off. Nobody likes Mario Lemieux. All right. This is getting me nowhere rapidly. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to show you the only other Mario Lemieux I have right here. 
he drew this on 7 July 29 2001 22 21 it will soon to be 22 years ago July 29th that is Mario Lemieux start at zero $25 increments who said that Kurt, you are more than welcome. It is, uh, I'll tell you something, let me, when you think about this Mario Lemieux, let me tell you this. I, uh, when I, uh, I quit a teaching gig, tenured teaching at Peninsula College to do this. And I kept telling Jennifer, because we moved, we got married, and I said, if I could get just six months out of this gig, and it's turned into 32 years in the books, and this is my first show in year 33. Later on tonight, I might tell the tweet, tweet, tweet joke, but I'm not going to tell it right now. Well, thank you, guys. All right, no open on these. The heck with these. All right. I'll read off some of the names. If you if I say anything you you you're interested in Gene Cooney Barbara Eden George Went from Cheers Marcia Mason Rosie Greer These are all duty doodles Jane Powell Let's see Lucy Arnaz, yeah, right there. Mike Connors, otherwise known as Mannix. I'm just gonna read them off. If you if you if you hear a name you like, I'm sure I'll sell it to you real cheap. Now this, this guy's in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey. Oh, I want to see what Steve Garvey. Oh, my goodness. Steve Garvey, number six. You see what that says on it, too? It says, always watch Bergen Berries. No, it doesn't. It says, balls, Steve Garvey. Yeah, the Steve Garvey, Hall of Fame, Steve Garvey. Garvey. All right, I'm just mentioning some of the people I, I have. Call me if you're interested. Tina Louise, is she still alive? Great. Jack Klugman, Robert Stack, the original Untouchables. Another Jane Powell. Oh, James Whitmore. Dick Van Dyke. Look at these. Ed McMahon. Here's my impersonation of Ed McMahon. Ha, 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 ha. That's all he did. He got paid. Ed Harris. Academy Award winner. Tim Conway. Uh-oh. Wilson, this is somebody you should listen to. This is a doctor. Dr. Ruth Westenheimer. Yes. I have a doodle by her. I'm curious what a sex therapist would put. I'm just curious. Thank him, yes. Oh, Dr. Ruth. I'm sorry, but Wilson, you would think for charity, she'd do more than that. But that's Dr. Wooth. Is she still alive? Shelly Winters is not. She was on the Poseidon Adventure. 
So if I if I read a name you want to see, just call me up. Dick Van Patten, John Voigt. Who said that? Cleo, thank you. All right. Now this is too cool. This is John Voigt. I'm going to put it up against the Schofield. Look what he says. Sit down, buckle up, and get ready for the ride of your life. This is my best friend, Stu. Thank you. Who, please, what does it say? Wow, John Voigt, 2004. And that's his best friend, Sid. Well, oh, these are pretty cool. You know, I might be selling these too cheap, but nobody wants them, so. It's a moot point. Okay, and let's see if I got anybody else. Sally, Jesse, Raphael, Scott Erickson, Rosemary uh, Verdi, Jack Klugman, Jason Phillips, another Jane Powell, John Thompson, you remember him, the basketball coach? John Thompson, one of the greatest basketball coaches of all time. I think it was, he's in the Hall of Fame. Georgetown Hoyas. That was drawn by John Thompson. Wow. Okay, they're not interested, Wilson, they're not interested. Elvin Hayes, Hank Lawden, Cheryl Ladd, another Jack Klugman, who doesn't like the odd couple? Robert Goulet, another Elvin Hayes, another Robert Goulet, Alan Ladd. Wow. Okay. If you if I've mentioned any names you like, Jane Alexander. A third Mario Lemieux. Tim Conway, and the last one Sally Struthers. Who doesn't like Sally Struthers? Who was Sally Struthers married to on All in the Family? The Meathead, Meathead, yes. Look at this. This was done by the Sally Struthers. Signed and everything. <coughs> but I just want to show you a few pieces that I have. I have some sacks, some Michael Schofield. All right, what did I do with Sally? There you are, Sally. All right, this goes back in there, Sally. So, not a whole lot of interest in doodles. The phone's ringing. Oh, folks, I hope everybody out there is having a great night. Tell you what I'm going to do. Folks. Zach's is setting records. I only have four Zach's here tonight. Which one do they want? Hi, I'll tell you what. Mm. Oh, I also have an original. Acrylic on canvas done by Peter Max, Umbrella Man. It's got the Peter Max registry number. 
It's got everything. I think it got a picture of the registry number. Unless I already, oh, there's the registry number. Park West registry number for Peter Max, original umbrella man. Ah, tell you what I am going to do. Tell you what I'm going to do. Let's see. I am stunned. Here's what I got. I'm going to give an early bird special. I only have one, two, three, four Zacks. And they are, Zacks is on fire. And I don't mean literally. If he was, I'd have Wilson put him out. But he has now been picked up. Not only did he sell a piece at Julian's in Beverly Hills for over $10,000, he has been picked up by Heritage Auctions, and there's a couple other big auction houses talking about them. I only have four original Zacks tonight, and as an early bird special, before we get Dish Network, I'm going to show you the four I have. Oh my goodness, original, yes. Medium, hand-painted wall sculpture. And it's even got a barcode. Yeah, they should put barcodes on people when they're born. That way when you get to heaven, they, or, see, are you, yeah, nah, forget about that, Wilson. Uh, then those of us, no, never mind, I don't know if I'm getting in either. But uh, this Robert Indiana's love. Now Heritage Auction House is handling them. Um, so is Julian's where they sold for 10,000. This is a one of a kind original. 2628. <coughs> I only have four and I'm gonna make people such a sweet deal. I'm just going to put Robert Indiana's over here. All right, Matt, I don't want to embarrass you too much, but I got to tell people what you told me before the show. This is Audrey Hepburn. But what is this piece? What's the number on this one, Ashley? 2627. And I, should I, I, I don't want to embarrass because it showed tremendous compassion Matt Matt said every single time he watches breakfast at Tiffany's he ends up crying it's just his favorite movie you know who else was in that of course you do you've watched it a hundred times George Papard of course thank you isn't Audrey Hepburn pretty I know you know she's pretty Matt uh 10200 is what a Zach's original sold for at Julian's. I'm not going to charge anywhere near that. I only have four. And I am going to give you guys such a great deal. Problem is, should I auction them? Because I don't want to get somebody mad. Look at this. The Beagle of beagles the dog of all dogs right here snoopy look at that done by zacks yeah i infuriated people in my local dog park not the people they love me it was the two ladies that got mad that i told everybody the combination hey everybody wanted to go on the grass one i made it happen but Take a look at this. This is a unique original by Zax. Snoopy. 
This is something that if it was at Julian, it'd probably go for seven or eight thousand easy. That's a one of a kind original done by Zach's. And then I am going to put. All right, Wilson, the doors on this open. So if you take this for a test drive, this door opens. Just be sure and buckle up. This is a Zax Corvette. What is the item number on this? 2625. Now, tell you what, I only have these four Zaxes. Tell me which one's your favorite. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And this is too cheap. I'm going to end up losing money on any of these, but I'll tell you what. Tell you what. Matt, I got to do it. Don't do it. I know. Audrey Hepburn. Unique, one of a kind, original. Tell you what I'm going to do. I know I was talking about starting at 14 or 1500. No, not tonight. This is an early bird special. Eleven hundred dollars to open. They're going for seven and eight thousand dollars at Julian's. They're now being the uh, the unique originals are being sold by Heritage. You got all kinds of stuff. Breakfast at Tiffany's. He's tearing up right now. I didn't mean to, man. Julia, could you give him a tissue? That movie means that much to you, huh, Matt? No open. All right. Not yet. This is rather unique. Robert Indiana's love. Look at that. Year created 2023. Hand painted wall sculpture. Original. A thousand dollars to open. A lot of places they got the retail at nine thousand. And that is a one of a kind wall sculpture done by Zach's. One thousand dollars to open. No, it's love. Two six two eight. And what does two six two eight spell, Wilson? Love. The business you're in at night. Love. You got to take it, love. I can't. Oh, my goodness. That's Robert Indiana's favorite famous sculpture. Okay, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to put up the one everybody wants. Please don't miss out on this. This is probably the coolest sax. I've ever seen. Oh, folks, how could you not like a unique original of Snoopy? Eleven hundred to open, one hundred dollar increments. Once we get the open, if this doesn't sell, this has to sell. What is the item number on? See, he's got it. That's a smart dog. Mm -hmm. 
What's his little uh, tumbleweed? His friend, tumbleweed. Wilson, do you know who Charlie Brown was crazy about? The little redheaded girl. No, Peppermint Patty liked him, but Charlie Brown liked the little redheaded girl. No open at 1100. Okay. And if you are interested in the Cor Corvette, it's also 1100. But I don't know, Wilson, in this day and age, if you come in on the Corvette, I don't want to get anybody mad at me, but I don't know what, I don't know how many gallons, how many miles to the gallon a Corvette gets. That is, that is also 1100 to open. Let's see. Two six two five. Just let me know which one they want. On which one? The Corvette, okay. We have the open. Snoopy. Oh, all right. My favorite, the Snoopy. 1100 has been bid on Snoopy. That is so cool. That is like the coolest Zax. You ever have a dog like Snoopy Wilson? Close. Because there's only one Snoopy. We have the open at 1100 looking for 12. No, you know why you don't have, you don't know why you don't have a Snoopy Wilson? I'll tell you why you don't have a Snoopy Wilson. You scared his little friend Tumbleweed away. You just went whoosh Tumbleweed. And Snoopy went All right, 1100 going once. 1100 going twice. No, I didn't. No, but I, I wish I did, but I didn't. No. All in, all said, Snoopy is sold. Thank you. Who got that, Matt? <laughs> Mike. All right. Thanks, Mike. I don't know if it's time because this character loves to tell you what. I don't know if I can handle this much at this show. All right, Ashley. The little red-headed stepchild. Done by Sasha Basari. Now, folks, I sold every single Sasha Basari I had. Sasha Basari is one of the most amazing artists. He lives in St. Petersburg, Russia. All you got to do is look into the eyes of this little redheaded boy. I call him the redheaded stepchild because you know he's thinking something devious. He's got that Wilson look. I know they might notice the pair's missing. We all know they'll know the pair's missing, but they won't know I'm the one that took it. That's, that's just my interpretation. But Sasha Basari, uh, Satoshi Online, for his large originals, was going getting 21,000 US. But this is the last one I got. 
two, five, four, eight. It is absolutely stunning. I'll tell you what I can. Oh, we were getting three and four thousand for all of them, but nobody wants to give the little red-headed stepchild a home. Ashley, buddy, wants to adopt the little red-headed stepchild. Juliet, why didn't you step forward and adopt the little red-headed stepchild, huh? He's too mean. You don't even know him. He hasn't spoken to you, and you're already saying he's too mean. And, you know, most Sasha Basari, 7, 8, 12,000. Uh, there's a gallery in Florida, a couple galleries in Florida. But I'll tell you what, this is the only one I got. Oh, Ashley, this is too cheap. And it's framed, it's ready to go, everything. 1500 to open. $200 increments. Now, Adrian, I need you to get ready. Camera two. I am going to show you about a nine-minute video on a friend of mine who is completely retired now. He is in the Library of Congress collection. He's in the Smithsonian Institute. He is in the Billion Dollar Arm and Hammer collection. He has set records for uh, many of his landscapes have been in the Rockford Files and so many of the 80s and 90s shows done by Stephen J. Canal Productions. Listen to Michael Schofield for nine minutes and I'll be right back. I'm Michael Schofield. I'm a, uh, an impressionist landscape artist. Landscapes are probably what I enjoy doing the most. And I think one of the reasons I enjoy doing what I do is because I enjoy being in nature. Landscapes to me speaks to, uh, speaks to who and what I am. I enjoy the outside. I love looking at different parts of the country. Every different part of the country is, is unique in its area. Landscapes are, are what I enjoy painting more than anything else. When I'm looking at a landscape, the first thing I do is to see the depth of the piece and how I'm gonna create the depth. How am I gonna create the foreground and the middle ground and the, and the background? And what it is that I'm gonna to have to do in order to jump over the hurdles it's gonna take in order to get that particular scene on, on canvas. Do I frame it right to left? Do I move these trees here? Do I? Do I bring a brook through the center of the piece? Do I bring it from left to right? You know, what's intriguing about this particular scene? Taking out all of the small details that don't make any sense and just getting the essence of the piece, that's what I do. That's what I envision when I first see the, the landscape. I think an artist's job is to interpret what the creator has laid out for us. We're just basically taking snapshots of that Interpret, putting in our own interpretation of it, our own feelings, our own emotion, and then presenting that to the viewers and to the public. That's art to me. So it really is just a, it's a statement of, of what we are and who we are, and it's translated through, in my case, landscapes. The idea of becoming an artist um, didn't really hit until high school. And it was one of those rainy days when the music instructor 
was filling in for the English teacher that couldn't make it to, to school. So he, um, he whipped out his watercolor um, palette and, and paints and a piece of watercolor paper and did a demonstration um, right in the class. And that was his way of filling in for, for the teacher. And well, I watched him do that. And I, could, I still remember what he painted. He painted an old railroad ties and some water in between the ties and a couple of trees above it and reflecting in the water. And I thought, wow, that's, I really, that's what I want to do. Your life changes quickly, you know, and your and the direction changes quickly. Um, and, and then I think a lot of it is just following the path. Uh, we don't choose our career; it chooses us. I think that's very true. Uh, I think as long as you keep moving, that that career will catch up to you, or you you'll find the right the right spot to walk into, or the right the right uh, position to be in at the right time. You know, the doors open, you walk through them, see what see what's on the other side. I did a couple of one-man shows down in Florida. I think probably one of the more interesting one was what I did in Cleveland, a real, real wet, cold, snowy night. I really didn't think that I would have anybody show up for the show because it was so cold and miserable. We ended up having 1,100 people show up for the for the uh, for the event. We sold almost everything in the in the uh, the entire show, and the party didn't stop until about one, two o'clock in the morning. And uh, those were fun. We had a lot of people show up in those in those particular in those days, all throughout Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia. I did that for probably ten years. There was a lot of shows. The most posters I think I had in one particular catalog was um, about 25. Back in the 90s, I think there was uh, there was a few catalog companies that had uh, 10 or 15, but I think um, Editions Limited had uh, up to about 25 pieces. Interestingly enough, some of the pieces are still in catalogs dating back into the into the early 90s. There, and then you start to realize that you know all the millions of posters you're, you're selling happen to find their way in front of the public and. I think that's when you start to realize that uh, you're actually fairly famous in this, in this game. Well, I spent 10 years in, in Nashville, in that area. And I think a lot of the subject matter that I, that I paint today comes out of that era and out of that area. Um, Tennessee and Kentucky and Alabama, Mississippi, and even upstate New York. I love that area up there. You know, big pines, the big beech trees, the big birches. I think a lot of that uh, that I do today is reminiscent of those areas and of that subject matter. I paint in California quite a bit too, um, like like today. Um, those those areas I think are what I enjoy painting the most. One of the more difficult things is painting on location. A lot of people say, well, you got everything right in front of you. Well, you have too much in front of you. The artist has to take all of the elements, eliminate the things you don't need in the painting, and just paint the things that you do need. And you have to deal with the light changing. It changes rapidly. You're painting the shadows on one tree, and all of a sudden, they're not there anymore. 
So you have to take a mental snapshot of the area that you're looking at and then paint that because it's going to change five minutes from now. I think my paintings, they tell hope, and they tell adventure, and mystery, and romance, and I've been fortunate, really fortunate, to paint something that people really enjoy and, and feel and get uh, inspired from and fall in love with. And I like the growing aspect of becoming a better and better artist. Uh, I don't think you ever arrive as an artist. I think you're always arriving. You're eventually going to get there. I think eventually um, I'll, I'll get to a point where I feel comfortable with the work. I don't think I'll ever be satisfied completely with it. I like the idea that somebody can see one of my paintings and see a part of nature that they've been in, a place that they, they're familiar with, a scene that they know from, from childhood or some, some time in a vacation, something like that. That's what I feel like what I do actually rings home. That's important to me. They can actually relate to the landscape. So um, the communication between the painter and the, the viewer is what's important. Hi folks, Barry Chapel back with you. That was a short film I made on Michael Schofield a while ago. How old is Michael now? 76? 74? I thought it was 76. All right, 74, 76. Here was a watercolor of Michael Schofield that somebody had on eBay for $18,999. Here is a Michael Schofield Poplar's Grove in 2007. I think this is Hubs Historical. Now this was BigShotArtist.com, 48,500. It's a large piece. Here is Michael Schofield right here, 42,000, entitled Before the Rain. And Michael Schofield is in the Billion Dollar Armand Hammer Art Collection. I mean, it's like one of the best art collections in the world. And, you know, he's also in the Library of Congress Collection. He's in the Smithsonian Art Collection, which means they had to request it purchase it take a look at that this is he signed it on the back is that 04 05 what year is it 05 now one thing as I lost the item number if you look right over here Michael always hides his signature not hide it but signs it very faintly well this one he signed on the back on some of the other oils, he always would get mad at, well, get mad, but he always comment, like with Shimmy Yakin, where the whole bottom of the was signed and numbered piece is a signature. It's kind of like when they tell you to make this report, 
4,000 words. And the last, you know, thousand is, he said, hey, page one, hey, you know. This is one of the most colorful Michael Schofields I have ever seen. This is part of a gallery that, that had been working with Michael forever, but look at that. Those are some of the richest colors I've ever seen on a Michael Schofield. I mean, those are uh, orange as oranges you've ever seen. The lemon yellows, look at that. Michael became famous for painting the backside of trees blue to give it depth. Michael taught art. He uh, has had shows all over the country and all over the world. Tell you what on this, Ashley, I want to give deals early on because in a mere, f let's see, seven, eight minutes I get Dish Network. It's got a lot of viewers. What did I pay for this, Ashley? Uh, item number, I'm going to give it to you like uh, Elaine on Seidfeld, yada, 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 two. No. 2607. Tell you what I'm going to do. This is one of the coolest Schofields I've ever seen. I'm going to give someone a deal of a lifetime. Oh, this is too cheap. Because in seven minutes I get dish 1800 to open. That is way too cheap. I've never seen a Schofield that vivid. Look at that. That will lighten up a room. You will get that glow, Wilson, that John Travolta got in Pulp Fiction when they opened the suitcase up. That's so beautiful. They never show you what it was. But now we know what it was, Matt. It was a Michael Schofield. Yeah. Which one of the characters shot, shot Marvin? It was John Travolta, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that would have been a steal. All right, Ashley, I am curious. Let's move that one away. Let's see, where did he sign this? What's that? This one is. We will get Michael to sign this on the back. So here is an original on paper watercolor by Michael Schofield. And before we send it out to you, he will sign it on the back. That is vivid, beautiful. I showed you a comp where one sold on eBay for 18000 Or they were asking $18,999. Here's a Michael Schofield original watercolor. And we'll find the number in a minute, but... Uh, Tell you what, start at zero, $50 increments. That's an original, and it will be signed by Michael. He painted it. That's going to be a trick. 
And she pulled that off pretty good. Yeah. And then we'll get you the additive number. Yep. Beautiful work. That's an original Michael Schofield. I showed somebody on eBay selling one for $18,999. Michael Schofield. This was a hard collection to get. This, this was his archive. What is it? 2622. I can't say that out loud though, Ashley. See what happens to Wilson? It's not the first two numbers, but whenever you're around Wilson, you say tutu. <laughs> yeah. His ballerina skills come out. Oh, please, not tonight, Wilson. Were you a really good ballerina dancer? Fair, huh? All right, you got uh, probably a eight to ten thousand dollar Michael Schofield right here. Uh, tell you what, start at zero. Uh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna leave a mark. Start at zero, seventy-five dollar increments. That's an original watercolor by Michael Schofield. Now, do we have dish yet, or is it, what are we, a couple minutes away? Four minutes away. What's that? It, it, it could either. There's two or three J pals. There's Jane Powell, who's yowza, 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 hubba, hubba, hubba. And there's another Jane Powell. No open. On original watercolor by Michael Schofield. No open going once. Folks, I cannot even get a Michael Schofield. Are you kidding? Zero. Yeah. Marsha Mason. We have what? We have 75. Thank you. Marsha Mason was in the Goodbye Girls. She played with, uh, who's the guy in Sharks? Shark? Richard Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus. 125 has been bid. What do the increments say? So it should have been 150, Ashley. 150 has been bid. I lost my glasses. Two and a quarter. It's the original Michael Schofield. Three hundred has been bid. Hey, I found my glasses. Three hundred. Wow, that's three hundred. The, oh, Mike and Diana, Mike and Diana have been buying, buying since 2004. Yep. Well, I'm going to give them a quick sunny listing count. 300 going once. 300 going twice. Fair. And final warning. All in, all said. Sold. Yep. Thank you, Mike and Diane. Thank you. Now... Ashley, I am going to put 
this abstract up. I'll tell you what, we could even have Wilson. You got a good picture of it right over there. But I'll bring it. Do you want me to leave it there or on the easel? It's up to you, Wilson. Michael Schofield continues to tell me that uh, Wilson just said he liked it better over there. Wilson gets no respect like Rodney Dangerfield. He painted this in 2009. No respect, Wilson. No respect. Michael Schofield believes that his art, will, his abstract art, will be worth far more than his landscapes. He mentions five or six artists when he tells, you, tells us why. This is a very large original abstract done in 2009 by Michael Schofield. Take a look at that, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, this is, that is something. I'm going to make this cheap because he is uh, 30000 He's getting a ton for his uh, abstracts. They're going very, very well. Watch this, Ashley. Don't tell Michael I did this. He's going to get mad at me. A thousand to open. One hundred dollar increments once we get the open. That is an original oil on canvas abstract by Michael Schofield. Okay, what abstract's not for everybody. Yes, Rosie Greer is sports. He used to be on Monday night football every now and then, right? With Howard Godsell, Dandy Don Meredith. All right, here's what I'm going to do. No interest in this. All right, no open once. No open twice. All right, I don't have many Schofields, folks. All right, let's move that away. This was painted in 2003, this next one. That was an abstract here is a landscape. What is the name of this? Lavender Reflections. Lavender Reflections, yeah. You said lavender? Lavender. Now you sound like it is lavender. Wouldn't you agree, Wilson, or am I wrong? It's lavender. Yes. Say what? Which one? I don't know. It could be Jerry Cooney, the boxer, or it could be some old actor. I don't know. What do you draw a picture of? He's a professional boxer. He boxed Muhammad Ali. Folks. This is what a $30,000 Michael Schofield, boy, she's quick at that. You knew that was a professional boxer. Yeah. All right, way to go, Juliet. But that wasn't the right question to ask Juliet. The right question to ask Juliet was, who won rollerblade skater of 2005. Do you ever watch that when you were growing up as a kid? Yeah, they circle around beating each other up. <laughs> All right, folks. Tell you what, Ashley, this was painted in 2003, and I want to not squash my hand. How's that, Wilson? Is that good? On this corner, other corner. How's that? Yeah. All right, I got a better idea. Watch this, Wilson. How's that? It's perfect. Yes. I miss my calling. 
Tell you what, on this, I'm going to give everybody a deal. And this hurts. It really does. It's one of the nicest ones by Michael Schofield. 1800 to open. 1800 to open. $100 increments. I only have a few Schofields. I am out. He is retired. At 1800 on a large Michael Schofield like that? Did you just hang up on a customer? Yeah. Roller derbies, right. Yes, that was done by Mario Lemieux. Yes, and I know about I know about roller derby. You know, that's what my mom did before she had me. Oh she oh no. I don't know. She took a few of the head there, but uh no, my mom wasn't in roller derby. At eighteen hundred on an original Michael Schofield oil line canvas. Okay, I will move that along. I'm just curious. I am curious. But you know what they say, Wilson. Curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought him back. This was one of my favorite Schofields. He painted this in 2005. Look at that. You want to see a $25,000 Schofield. Now I need to get, how's that look, Wilson? Or, all right. Folks, peak of fall, BC 2607. Yeah, now is it Jane Alexander, hubba, 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 or is it in, in that picture that she painted? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see what she painted. Yeah, that looks like Jane Powell. Yes. Tell you what I'm going to do. Folks, this one's for you. Start at zero. $200 increments. I only have four, five landscapes on this planet. He retired. I can't get any more. I bought this from a gallery that was closing. Here you go. I'm starting at zero on the Michael Schofield. Hubs historical. Where he would get thirty and 40000 a painting or more. The billion dollar Arm & Hammer collection. Stephen J. Canal production. I'm starting at zero, $200 increments. If you ever wanted to get a Michael Schofield, I only have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, what is wrong with me? Three, four landscapes left, and this is one of the four. All right, I better run. This is code red, Ashley. Kill the lights. That's the code Say what now? Yeah. Is that, uh, what do you call that Korean show over there that I'm watching now? K-pop. Didn't one of their stars just kind of like die? Do you have anything to do with that, Wilson? Okay. No open once. All right, we're going to call on this one. Folks, I have never not sold an original Michael Schofield. This is absolutely stunning. Let's get this off the air. That is, I'm starting at zero, Ashley, not 2,000, not 4,000 to open. I'm starting at zero. 400 to open. Thank you. This is gorgeous. I only have three other ones. He is retired. He does not paint landscapes anymore. Why are those kids on K-pop playing with a toy gun while 
Girls look at them while the girls eat ice cream and they point the gun at the girls. Look at that. Look right there. Look. Say it ain't so. $400 going once. I can't buy this for Michael. Nobody could buy this. Chopper, this is a steal. I only got four left. Four hundred dollars going once. Six hundred. Thanks, Chopper. 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 Got to say it right. Six hundred. I can't even buy this on the best day. I mean, six hundred on an original Michael Schofield. Eight hundred has been bid. Eight hundred. Oh, he just you're just messing with Chopper. You're trying to kill Chopper. He's trying to hurt my customer. All right, 800 going once. Whatever happens, happens. Oh, that's prophetic, isn't it? I should be in politics. Whatever happens, happens, Wilson. See, he's, all, he's still teared up. Chopper. Matt saw that picture of Audrey Hepburn, uh, that one Zach's painting, and he started crying. All right, $800 going twice. I've never sold a Schofield this beautiful, this cheap. You got the spectrum of colors. 1,000. We're at 1,000. One thousand. Looking for twelve. One thousand going once. What's that? Oh, one. What's that? All in. All said. We're at a thousand once, twice. He stole it. Sold. Call nine one one. That hurt. I only have three left. This was done in 2003. He's retired. This is, oh, look at that. BC 2606. Look at that. Folks, I only have two left, three left, this and two others. This is probably the largest, this is the largest landscape by Michael Schofield I have left. Start at zero. $200, $200, $250 increments. Hey, I only have three left. This is one of them. This is the largest Michael Schofield I have left. I'm getting killed here tonight. That's all you got to tell them, Matt. And this is my 33rd anniversary, the first show of my 33rd year. <laughs> Looking for an open because I this is it. We're doing $250 increments. That's an original Oil on Canvas by Michael Schofield. No open once. How much? 750. And you even said it right. I said it wrong. Ashley said it right. 750. We're at 750. A strategic bid. But I hope the strategy comes crashing down.
750 looking for a thousand I can't buy this for 750 nobody could buy this for 750 and folks I, I, I 750 this is gorgeous this is the largest go field I have going once at 750 Mr. W, Mr. C, Melvin, anybody? Seven fifty. Who's your bidder at seven fifty? Ashley. Yes. Who's your bidder? I'm Mr. S. Mr. S. <laughs> All right. Seven fifty. Going once. Oh, this is so cheap. I'm losing big time. 750 going twice. Fair. I feel like that girl looks on K pop right there. All in. All said. Sold. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. I only have two left that are not abstracts. Here you go. Smaller Schofield. This one was done in 2020 or 2021. Is that 2020 or 2021, Wilson? That looks like 2020, right? Okay, I've been overruled. 2021. Start at zero, $200 increments. As after this, I only have one oil on canvas left. It started that way 33 years ago, Ashley. A beautiful beginning, yes it did. But I have been, what's the old saying? Weathered by time. Oh. Wait, Wilson, I'm going to give you oh, okay. one of my favorite Chinese sayings. Do you want to hear one of my favorite Chinese sayings of all time? <laughs> he who attacks must vanquish. He who defends must merely survive. It, it, it could have been the, uh, no, I'm starting at zero. Start at zero, $200 increments. I only have one other landscape. This is it. This and a rowboat. That's it. And I am out of Michael Schofields. And I, you guys have you cleaned up tonight. I should have Adrian call 911 because it is a robbery. Open for 500. Thank you. Strategic bid, it's a beautiful painting. Who is your customer, Juliet? Mr. L. Mr. L, thank you. We have 500 looking for 700. Yeah, I might get kicked out of the dog park. They can't, it's public access, yeah. I'm at 700, 500 looking for 700. $500 going once. Oh, this hurts. $500 going twice. Fair and final warning. 
Just one quick. Hey, Adrian, why does that girl look like the Smith, Swiss Miss girl on the middle camera? All right, all in. All said. Juliet, sold to you. This is killing me. All right, this is the last. Yeah, I can. Yeah, grab it for me. Hi, Barry Chapel coming to you tonight. I'm actually starting my 33rd year on TV tonight. I am honored and I'm very grateful to you guys. We've had people calling. They've been buying since 2001, 2004. The guy I used to watch a long time ago is dead now. His name was Jack Teague. He was out of Florida, uh, out of Tennessee. He was, uh, he was a fun guy to watch. Last large landscape painted in 2002. Springtime, BC 2604. That is it. Any other Schofield I have is either a watercolor or an abstract oil line canvas. This is oil line. Oh, look at that sky. Go back up to that sky. Yes, that is the coolest color of the sky. You know, now, I don't want anybody to. Michael gets 25 grand for paintings like this. And he painted this in 2002. It was part of his archive collection. And this is it. As far as I have a few abstracts, few watercolors, but let's go to this. Started zero, $250 increments. Look at all those Irish greens, man. That sky is hauntingly beautiful. This is it, last oil on canvas that is a landscape by Michael Schofield. And I thank you for watching so far. I got a lot more coming to you tonight with. Got some gold coins. Got a lot of great stuff. 750? Good, you're getting the 750 right. We haven't opened at 750. Who is that that opened at 750? Uh, Mr. S. Mr. S. He's uh, the work of me, Wilson. But I'm grateful. Yes, I got Tim Conway in there. Two of them are pretty funny, too. I'm at seven feet. This is one of the largest ones. It's beautiful. It is pure Michael Schofield. This painting is 21 years old. He can vote now. $750. That's crazy, folks. I thank you for letting me show my wares to you, but that is just unbelievably inexpensive. 750 going once. I am at $750 on the large boat. I think the boat's pretty, but whoever was paddling that last, they missed the dock, Wilson. A thousand? Thank you. We are at a thousand. This is the last Schofield. Sounds like a motion picture. And this is it.
twelve hundred on this. I got to auction because I promised everybody at eight twenty Pacific time I'm auctioning the little redheaded stepchild. And how was it? Eight twenty Pacific. <laughs> and I think, but tell them to join in. And we're keeping an eye on the little redheaded stepchild. He knows what's coming. He might try and run away. We're at twelve hundred. Going once. Twelve hundred. Going twice. Fair. And final warning. All in. All said. Sold. Now. Thank you. Somebody knocked all my gold coins down. Was it you, Wilson? No. Was it you, Juliet? No. Was it you, Matt? No, it wasn't a little red-headed stepchild. Oh, you want to blame. Ashley, you're trying to blame it on the little red-headed stepchild. Oh, come on, Chapel. Okay. Gold has and always will be real money. That's what real money is. Now I have a, oh, he taught me how to say it properly. Oh, Adrian. He said, say like you're saying dress, but put a Y in. DS. Did I get it right? I got a Diaz peso. Is that how I, did I say it white, right? White. <laughs> Juliet, did I say it right? Diaz. Diaz. Diaz peso. That's a big gold coin. I have two rooster coins from France. The uh, AU types, I got four or five Swiss 20 francs. Folks, I think it's amazing people have gotten this much time to buy gold when all hell is breaking loose. Excuse my English. Say what now? You ever own a rooster? I took care of a rooster once, then I moved away. I hope they found it a nice home. Oh, I had a rooster in Port Angeles because it came with a rental. There was already a rooster there. So I went out there every couple days, fed him. He looked very healthy. Then when I left, I told the people, hey, your house is available. Please take care of the rooster you left me. And they said, we'll do. He could have had a great life, Wilson. It could have been the rooster it always wanted to be. Or he could have ended up hit by a car. No one would hit a rooster. Well, who knows? Folks, if you want any gold, call me. Whether Now, the Swiss franc is about a fifth of an ounce of gold, 0.1867 pure. The French francs have a little less than that. I have a, 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 a 10 peso, that's a little more than that. And I got two pesos and two and a half. I always thought, and I, as a father of two that are fully grown, if you explain to them and do a better job setting coins up on live TV than I have just done, like, look at that little two peso. People go, that's so small, but that's pure, that's gold. And they will always have a reverence for gold and money if they buy gold. I believe it. Changed my life. So, Ashley, on my Swiss francs, I got two of them right there. 
Helvetia, one and two. Oh, call me. If they want gold, I'll work them a deal. I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. Do, 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 do. All right. Matt? Don't start crying again. No, oh, no, don't start crying again. This is a Zach's original, Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at T Tiffany's. It is a unique original. It is stunning. Look at that. At Julian's Auctions in Beverly Hills not too long ago, one of his original, unique originals like this went for over 10000 He's now being sold by Heritage Auction House. I would put the retail, I'd put the, the, I would put the gallery price at somewhere a low of 9500 to a high of 13500 and this is, oh boy. Matt, did you pull off the item number because you love this piece so much? Say what? No, this is breakfast at Tiffany's. That's a dirty trick, Matt. Yeah, uh, yeah, list price, Adrian, somewhere between 92 and 14,000. 9,200 to 14. And I'll tell you what, that is a Zach's original. Oh, don't hurt me too bad on this. If this goes too cheap, Wilson, Matt's going to be madder than hell at me. Have you ever seen him like like that over a painting? I mean, I know he gets like that over certain watches and stuff, but over a painting? How many tissues did you have to hand him, Juliet? How many tissues when he saw this painting? Went through the whole box. Yeah, he's just so romantic. Tell you what, do not hurt me on this. A thousand dollars to open which is so cheap. $1,000 to open, $200 increments. That is an original Zach's. Julian's Auction House got 10300 for a painting. No, for a uh, unique original. About a month ago, now they got Heritage or showing his works. I heard that Sotheby's is thinking about it. So get in on the ground floor of Zach's, EM Zach's, 1,000 to open. No takers. All right. Tell you what I'm gonna move to next. Mm. Yes. I'm just curious. As we move along, I got plenty of other stuff coming up, but Wilson? Michael Schofield says, in the words of John Singer Sargent. That when he dies, his abstracts will be worth more than his world-famous landscapes. Start at zero, Ashley. $200 increments. That is a Michael Schofield abstract. I'm selling it at zero. Start at zero, $200 increments. 
I also have some more Zacks coming up. I've got a cool book coming up. I've got all kinds of stuff, but I'm starting at zero. Now, let's say for a second, Michael Schofield is right. He's already in the billion dollar Arm and Hammer collection. He has sold paintings. He sold three big abstracts for $180,000. A little triptych he put together. Let's say he's right. And then when he dies, his abstracts, like John Singer Sargent, are worth more than his landscapes. Uh, what is the item number on this, Ashley? We're starting at zero, $200 increments. 2614. 2614. 375? 375 has been bid. Thank you. I would not doubt Michael Schofield. When I started doing this 33 years ago, I met him at my mom's gallery about year, I mean, this is my 33, about year five. So 28 years ago, and I started buying his work, and it was just an interesting story. He was an official PGA golf artist. He painted for, um, Hubs Historical. He also painted for Stephen J. Canal Productions. I mean, there are so many movies. I'll be watching the Rockford Files 575 at home, and there'll be a Michael Schofield in there. Now, Matt, you could be at home watching Chips, you know, and they go to somebody's house who's got a crime, and on the wall is an original Michael Schofield. Five seventy-five. That seems way cheap. Going what? Five seventy-five. Going twice. Fair. And final warning. All in. <laughs> all said. Is that it, Ashley? Sold. And Matt, you know why I sold it too cheap, and that is way cheap? Because all you need in this world. And Wilson knows this too. Wilson, all you need is love. Uh-oh! Holy Toledo, this just hit me! This just hit me! If they're watching me in China right now, and that's upside down, that's evil! Yeah, it's sold. Hang on, I got one more. I got one other abstract. But on love, this was done by Zacks in 2023. It has a computer chip, everything. It is a signed original by Zacks. I'll tell you what, $1,000 to open, $100 increments. That is the Zacks. List, 9,500 to 14,000. Let me know if anybody is interested in opening on the love. Or could be evolve. But we're missing evolve. I see the E. 
Elov. Olvi. Ah, uh, yeah, you know. Okay, somebody want to know? Guess what? Matt, who called you? Lori? Well, Lori, guess what? Lori, tonight, I am your art fairy godmother. <laughs> yes, I have another abstract. Yes. Well, he painted this in 2000, is that seven or two? Seven. 2007, <laughs> in abstract. Start at zero. What was the increments we used last time? 200. 200. Start at zero, $200 increments. Somebody's got to want. Somebody. Has got to want. Oh, it's red, white, blue. It's what? Dove. Lori. Lori, I put this up for you because I want to be your art fairy godmother. No, ta no takers on the gold. Wow. We are, this is an abstract by Michael Schofield. And that, I, I only see one other, I'm not even sure that is in the back. So if you didn't get your abstract, Lori or anybody else started zero. How much? 200 has been bid. Yes, I should have some St. Gaudens in different grades next week. I have been working on the deal and working on the deal. No, oh, we got 200. Who, who's your bidder? Mr. Who? D. Well, thank you, Mr. D. Lori didn't bid after I became her art fairy godmother. Is that what you're telling me, Matt? I went to all the trouble. I just, I want to make her happy. And that would be the first time it would be anybody's art fairy godmother. $200 going once. You got what Michael Schofield believes when he dies will be worth more than his landscapes that he sold for forty and fifty thousand. One of his landscapes is in the billion dollar Arm and Hammer art collection. I pull up the last abstract as a Lori was wanted to bid on one that was sold and here it is. And I am sitting here and I gotta put my glasses on. I am sitting here at two hundred dollars. Four hundred, thank you. Four hundred dollars. Looking for more. Four hundred dollars. Michael sold a triptych, three abstract pieces. They were a lot larger, but they were pretty cool for a hundred and eighty thousand for all three. Sixty thousand each. And here is an original abstract by Michael Schofield, signed on the back, oh seven. 
$400 going once. $400 going twice. Fair. And final warning. No Lori. Oh, we're verifying. Hang on. Hang on, we are verifying. We are at 400. Oh, you do? Go back. I have. Uh, okay. All right. Anybody beat the 400? 400 this is cheap going once I can't even, uh, and Michael could be right four hundred dollars six hundred has been bid eight hundred has been bid eight hundred dollars going once Eight hundred dollars going twice. Are we down to one, Ashley? Is that it, Ashley? Are we down to one? All in, all said, sold. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, this is going bye-bye now, Matt. Folks, you're looking at a fourteen, uh, ninety-five hundred to fourteen thousand dollars Zax. This is a, a one-of-a-kind original, done by Zax. He signs it Zax in the corner. That is Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Look at this little photo they put there. The newspaper clippings from that time period. You're looking at everything. And Adrian, this is whatever the item number is. And the Zacks, Audrey Epburn. There you go. Folks, this is a very valuable artist. Julian's in Beverly Hills, 10300 Now Heritage is auctioning them, and there is talk about a Sotheby's uh, acquisition of some Zacks for their auction. So I'll tell you what, don't hurt Matt too bad. He's already been crying over this painting. Matt, I got to do it. I got to sell things. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Don't hurt me too bad on that is look into her eyes. Tell you what. Should I auction it or should I price? What would you do, Matt? Using all the knowledge at your command from a decades of watching live shopping. Not part of your knowledge, but all your knowledge at your command. Would you start? Should I, I can auction it. Would you auction it? Can you live with it? Because I know you've been crying because you love Audrey Hepburn. All right, don't hurt me too bad. You're looking at a $10,000 piece. Start at zero, $200 increments. Oh, he's crying again. Juliet, help him. <laughs> Listen to him. <laughs> I'm starting at zero, $200 increments. That's a Zach's original of Audrey Hepburn, $10,000. Julian's got 10003 for one of theirs. Now you got Heritage auction them and there's talk of Sotheby's. 
That's how good he is. Looking for the open. I'm starting at zero. And whoever buys this, you're going to have one heck of a, uh, what would you call it? A bargaining chip with Matt in the future. You know who really liked Audrey Hepburn? Howard Hughes. Then didn't Audrey Hepburn marry Spencer Tracy? 475. That's Catherine. Oh, there's two of them. Huh? And Catherine. So which one dated Howard Hughes? Catherine? Audrey. So this one on the screen dated Howard Hughes. You've never heard that Audrey Hepburn dated Howard Hughes. They did. All right, I got to prove you wrong. What I do with my phone? Well, that's not good. I lost my phone. You see my phone anywhere? Say what? She married Mel Ferrez. Yes. Siri, did Howard use? <coughs> did Howard Hughes date Catherine Hepburn? Here's an answer from BBC.co.uk in her private life. Hepburn was romantically linked to millionaire Howard Hughes, with whom she had a four year affair. A four year affair? Why well, just ask? Didn't I just ask Audrey? Oh. No, I said Howard Hughes. Did Howard Hughes have an affair with Audrey Hepburn? Here's what I found from BBC.co.uk in her private life. Hepburn was romantically linked to millionaire Howard Hughes, with whom she had a four-year affair. Audrey Hepburn. That's what it says. You can argue with Siri. Siri, Juliet is arguing with you. What would I tell her? I can't say that on TV. Oh, you got Siri mad at you. So where am I at right now? 475. Ashley, tell them. What the heck was that? Guillermo. All right. I, I paid far more than this. I appreciate all bids. 475 going once. But you're talking about a $10,000. This is one of the coolest pieces Zax has done. I mean, he is now being sold by Julian's in Beverly Hills, by Heritage, the world's largest auction house. Four seventy-five. Look, going once, looking for six seventy-five. Four seventy-five. Yeah. Going once, going twice, look at those eyes. You know why she's got eyes like that? Because they're not Betty Davis eyes. No. You know why she has? That's how she gazed at Howard Hughes. That is how Audrey Hepburn, she just gazed at Howard Hughes. She said, Howard, take me flying again. That's what she said. For what? They dated for 18 months. 
You hear that? I did not say Howard Cosell. Howard Cosell never got near Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn would go, Mr. Cosell, I spit on you. All right. Everybody happy at 475? Is that it, Ashley? Once, twice, sold. Oh, that hurt. That left a mark. All right, I got, okay, here you go. Right here, I am going to gently. Go like this. Ooh, you can, look, the hood comes up. Look at this. The hood comes up on this. Look at this, sign Zach's. The door's open. Oh my gosh. Let's see if the trunk opens. I don't want to break the car. This is a Corvette done, painted by Zach's. Can you imagine what's going to happen in six months, a year, when Sotheby's starts auctioning off? Zach's and you have an original Corvette, well not a car, but the model painted by Zach's and I want to show you where Zach signed it, right here, look at that, yeah this is 10 grand, it was a piece like this that sold for ten grand at Julian's. It wasn't a, a Corvette, but I think it, it was some kind of robot deal he did. All right, folks. Where would you start this, Matt? Because I don't believe, I, I love you, Matt, but I don't believe you've been using all the knowledge at your command. You've been using part of the knowledge at your command. And he's still mad at me because I sold Audrey Hepburn, who dated Howard Hughes. I did not ask. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, don't, this is a $10,000 work. Adrian, this is easy. At Julian Auction House or Heritage, you're going to get anywhere low end. My guess, 7,500, high end, 14,000. That's a one of a kind Zach sculpture. Start at $300 increments. Whoever gets this, you're living well. And I want to thank you because I still have, in 23 minutes, we are going to auction off. The little red-headed stepchild. No open on this yet? It is a very good car. That's an original Zax. Oh, that's... Let's see who will open on this. They're beating on me tonight, Matt. They're beating on me. Okay. We have 300. Thank you. Whoever gets this, please tell your friends where you got it. Because the way auction houses are becoming so interested in Zach's, and looking for art that appeals to everybody, which Zach's has done, which EM Zach's has done, uh, and with Julian's getting 10300 for a model like this, it wasn't of a car uh, three months ago, that this is, oh, I, can, I pay far more than 300 I mean, you need to add some zeros on this. $300 going once. Ashley, this is killing me. 
Am I not showing the flight? You know, the door is open. I, I gotta, I gotta open the hood. No, do you have a copy of the ten thousand? I thought I did. I thought it'd be in my Zach's folder, but it wasn't. Ten thousand three hundred. The door is open. I had the hood open. Look at that. Everything you want. You kidding me? Can I stop this auction? Because this, of all the Zacks I've had, one like this. Unbelievable. Believe it, they're killing me tonight. Wilson, this is your fault. No, it's not. 300. I have the comp somewhere. 10,300. 500 has been bid. Oh, I got to make it six because it was $300 increments. Oh, I'm sorry. $500. Folks, this is of all the Zacks. I'm going to find that comp. It's going to be right over here. I would not leave home without it. Just like the American Express card, which I don't have. I will not leave home. Hang on, hang on. Let me find my Zach's comp. Right here, right here. While well, I'm looking. Uh, here he is, right here. Look at this. Here is EM Zach's in Art Business World. A full page story on Zach's. Look at this. Here is. Zach's right there, 7,400 on that little Star Trek robot, and it's, here is, I'm going to find the comp, Ashley, who is EM Zach's, maybe it is right here, no, I don't have it on me, I left it at home, or I could blame it on Ginger, but she wouldn't have eaten it. All right, everybody happy at 500. Don't do this, folks. $500 on an EM Zax similar in scope to the one that Julian's auction house sold for 10,300 going once. Maybe it's right here. Hang on. Hang on, I might have found it. I might have found it. And guess what? I didn't. But hang on. Oh, this is so cheap. Look at that. There's uh, those pesos. Schofield. There's that. Hang on. No. All right. 500 going once. 500. Going twice. 10,300. Hang on, it could be in here, Ashley. Hang on, hang on. Oh, these are Jake LaMotta checks, but I could have gotten them mixed in with Jake LaMotta checks. And there's a Graham Stevenson. Nope. But it uh, it went for ten three at Julian's. All right. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have no idea. What year did the Corvette come out? What do you think? Two thousand and one. Oh, wait, I, what year do you, 2001, 
2010. 2010 Corvette. All right. I got to move on, folks. I want to thank you. What do they say? I'm at 500. Anybody make it? Seven. 500 going once. Five hundred going twice. Anybody gonna bid it up, Ashley? The person you got online, or is this it? All in. Oh, here comes a call. This Corvette came out in 1950. The Corvette in general. Yeah, I have. What? The first Yes. The first Corvette, 1953. Thank you. All right, Ashley, you got the bid. Is this it? Anybody else? 500, going once. 500, going twice. All in. Don't lose this over a couple hundred dollars. All said, hang on. And then I'm moving on because I got to move on. Everybody happy, Ashley? You can finish that up off the air because people are looking at me like I'm crazy, and I am. All right. Here's one of the toughest to get books on the planet. It is a John Nieto book. John Nieto was given an award by President Bush. Um, he was a Navajo Indian. He was a Native American painter. And his grandmother told him to paint his people. And I just want to show you that is a John Nieto. Now I want to show you something else about this book. It comes with an original, uh, not an original, but a signed and numbered Nieto in it. Look at this right here. John Nieto signed the book. This is number 54. The print will probably match. And if I go a couple more pages, let's see. I believe it was President Reagan. If you go to the Reagan National, uh, the Presidential Museum, you will see a picture of Ronald Reagan with John Nieto. And he recently died, one of the great all-time Native American painters. Let's see. Not, yeah, here it is. Look right there. What do you see right there? Ronald Reagan with John Nieto. This John Nieto hangs in President Reagan's Simi Valley uh, Museum. This is a signed and numbered book, the toughest book I ever had to get. And you get the signed and numbered book, and you get, look at this, number 54 of 300 right here. 
this print alone right here is probably 15, 1600 just for the print. But to have a book signed by the late great John Nieto is unbelievable. These books are three and four thousand dollars. But here's what I'm gonna do, Ashley. They get the print, they get the book. We gotta make up an item number for it. And signed in number John Nieto. Print and book. Oh. Tell you what we're gonna do. Look at this, look at this book. Look at the case to this book, Wilson. Look at that. John Nieto, you get a signed book. It's book number 54 out of 300. The print matches the book number, everything. Tell you what, $300 to open, $100 increments after we get the open. This is serious stuff. John Nieto, his original hangs in the Ronald Reagan Presidential Museum. What's that? He's Native American, yes. One of the most important, I had an original John Nieto that Heritage Auction House sold for me 10 years ago. I think it went for $37,000, Wilson. And I had thought it, I, I thought I, I was, and so to get a print, the signed book, everything, any open at $300. All right. Now, what I am going to do. We have $300. Take care of this book. T take care of the John Nieto print. Take care of everything, because he was a great one. Oh, list is 2500 John Nieto went into a coma. He had some heart problems and they had to do an operation on him. And he pulled through the operation, but he just didn't say much. His friends would come and visit him. They talked to him, but he couldn't really speak. He was just out and he stayed that way for many, many months. Then all of a sudden he just turned over one day, woke up and said, I'm going to want to leave now. And his friends came and visited him said, did you know we were here? He said, yeah, I know you were here. They said, you were out. He said, I was, but I wasn't. He said, I, uh, I was aware of everything that was going on. He said, it was a very interesting time. That is the John Nieto. All right, 300 going once. This is crazy. That print alone, but 300 going twice. Fair. Final warning. Did he sign the print? Yes, he signed the print. He's look, he signed the print. He signed the book and ink, the print and pencil. The print alone is too grand. Oh my goodness. All in. All said. Sold. Oh. And I am going to put this back in here. Look at this very cool print holder for the book. All right, Ashley. Um, all right, it's 8.16. It's time. 
Matt, it is time. And that Corvette sold, so everything. Here it is. The last Sasha Basari I own on this planet. Look at this right here. I've been calling it the red-headed stepchild. I'm trying to find out its official name. What is the atom number on this? Should be the only Basari left in. Should be the only Basari left in stock because we sold every single one except for this. Ashley, do you remember the name of this one? Pair? 2548. Now, look how I am taking such good care of my John Nieto book. Whoever got this, you got a deal of a lifetime. Every single Sasha Basari graduate of the St. Peter's St. Petersburg Academy of Art with Sasha Basari you just look into the eyes that little boy knows you you know this little boy you got an idea what this little boy is thinking you know he's thinking he's thinking something a little mischief a little mischief here now, folks, I framed this. It was unframed before. This is, I think, this is a rare Sasha Basari. I sold one of his originals to the edition that uh, we made out of it. I think that sold for fifteen or twenty thousand on the show, at least ten, maybe twenty. Here is the last Sasha Basari. Excuse me as I walk in front. I just do not want to hurt. This. We, have an open uh, we got an open of 500 yes, sir. on the little red headed stepchild. But no, it's called Pear. Thank you. We have an open of 500. Let's do $200 increments. Folks, that's the only Sasha Basari I have. We have an open of 500. Now, who's going to make it seven? Folks? I've been calling that poor little kid the red-headed stepchild. And there's some magic about that. Sasha Basari. 700 has been bid is absolutely stunning what he can do with a paintbrush. You know his characters. They know you. Been doing this now. I, I just started my 33rd year tonight. Very rarely do I come across an artist like Sasha Basari. This little boy will grow on you. He'll talk to you. He is talking to me right now. I'm at 700 looking for 900. $700 going once. $700. Going twice. I thought it would have gone for more. All in. All said. Sold. Who got that for 700? Mr. M. Mr. M. Yes. 
All right. No, it's too late. That just sold. 700. All right. Now, tell you what. Mm. Ashley, can you make this? Folks, tell you what, here is an original watercolor by Michael Schofield, just like the ones that you saw that we showed you an eBay ad where somebody wanted 18999 <coughs> This came from his private collection. He is retired. He is when he does paint, it's abstract. Look at the colors in this. 2622. Oh, Wilson, she's making fun of you. You little tutu. Yes. What? She always wanted a what? A tutu. She just got a redheaded stepchild. Be careful with him, though. He has that look like he can be a little devious. All right. Tell you what, you are looking at a Michael Schofield original watercolor. Start at zero, $100 increments. I showed you a comp where somebody had one for $18,999. That gets too cute when you get $18,999. What is written on the desk right there on that visor? Pablo was here. <laughs> hey, Ashley, if you get it. Oh, I got it. I'm just going to set this right here for right now. Pablo was here. All right, I'm starting at zero. $100 increments. That's an original large watercolor. And let me measure this because this is a large watercolor. And I know this sold. I'm going to take this one back to you. And where is the measuring tape? We have 300 now. This is an original Michael Schofield watercolor. We are at 300. This is 30 inches. 30 by 30 by 22. 30 by 22. We are at three hundred dollars, looking for four hundred. I just showed you a comp where they wanted eighteen thousand. Oh, here's the comp, eighteen thousand nine hundred. Look, Wilson. What does that say right there? eBay original watercolor by Michael Schofield. $18,999. And I am at $300. $300. That is crazy money cheap. $300. Going once. Oh, man. Whoever's getting this, this is Christmas come early. $300 going twice. Oh, look at that. 
everybody happy. Oh, this is an auction that went bad. All in. All said. Sold. Matt, they got the deal of a lifetime. Wow. That's not a good sign. What's well, a great sign for them? All right, that's sold. Let me move along. All right. Ashley, could I hand you this or? Thank you. Thank you. To whoever got that. Now, the last Zacks. Now, I don't want to get anybody in trouble, Matt or Juliet. Especially you, Wilson, because I'm going to auction this Zach's original, Robert Indiana, Indiana copy of, well, Robert Indiana is famous for the love sculpture. But here's the problem they're going to have, Matt. Here's the problem they're going to have, Adrian, Wilson, and Juliet. When your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend gets the bill, and they said, what do you spend that for? You're going to say, I had to buy love. No, they, you're buying love. Yeah, you're looking at 9000 to 14000 Zach's being handled, uh, sold at Julian's, now being auctioned off at Heritage. So here's what I can do. Oh, Steve, you're more than welcome. He got a heck of a deal. So, Adrian, uh, retail, 9,500 to 14,000. That is a love sculpture done by Zach's. Uh, I'm gonna make this real easy, increments. 10,000 started zero $10,000 increment. I'm joking. It's been a weird night. I don't have many weird nights like this, but you used to have a lot of will weird nights, Wilson. What was it you used to trip out on acid? Okay. Did you give that up more than a week ago? Okay. Tell you what I'm going to do. Retail. You see it. New pieces being handled by Heritage. Julian sold one for 10.3. There's a sculpture. Start at zero. $250 increments. This is the last Zacks I have anywhere on the planet. And you have bought them cheaper in many cases than I bought them for, and I buy well. I just want everybody to have fun. I got 29 minutes left. And you know what happens at 9 o'clock, Wilson? What happened to Cinderella at midnight? Where did she go at midnight? Juliet, where did Cinderella go at midnight? Home? Didn't something magical happen to her? She turned into a princess. Yes. We haven't opened it 250. Nah, either I or Wilson are going to turn into a princess at 930. Yes, we're the same as Cinderella. It can happen to us, Wilson. Just be positive. Well, if the, starting my 33rd year on TV, which it is tonight, 
Thank you. June 21st. Here's how dumb I am. Excuse my language. I've been very successful on live TV and, and in coin collecting and stuff. But now what I know today, that would be the worst day to ever start on TV. It is the longest day of the year. People are outside longer on June 21st than any other day of the year. So you want to start in January or February or late November, late December, but not June 21st. I am at $250. I can't buy a sculpture for that price. Strange night tonight. Everybody happy. I can't buy this for 500. I couldn't even come close. <laughs> 500. 500 has been bid. Looking for 750. 33 years, Wilson. How long do you think I can keep this going? Where what? 750 has been bid. Well, if Jack don't throw me out, which he could. 750, looking for a thousand. Seven hundred and fifty dollars going once. Seven hundred and fifty dollars going twice. Fair. And final warning. Is that it? Every. Thirty-three years, Wilson. And I worried when I quit my teaching gig. Everybody happy? Oh. Oh. I'm talking really slow. In. Oh. What? Sold. Now, Ashley, since you've been getting ready for the Tough Mudder, is that the heaviest Schofield? Yes, that is. Yeah. yeah, lift that up. Put that on the easel. I'll take this one because it's so heavy. Oh, no. Here we go. Now, you can arrange whichever way you want to put... I like it. I like it. Well, it's fine this way. Let's rotate it. Okay. Watch this. Do you want to go on the side? Where do you sign it? On the back. Yeah, but this. Two, six, one, three. If I was going to do, yeah, you sign it that way. But oh, you like it your way better? No, it's fine. Is that what you're telling me, Ashley? It's your way or I go get the highway? Oh, Is that what she just said to me, Wilson? She said it's your way or the highway. 33 years gets you nowhere. Unfortunately, every time I see myself in my mind's eye, I still have black hair. So I see this gray guy on TV. I'm going, who the hell? That's me. I'll tell you what. I'm going to trust you on this, Ashley. Despite what people have told me not to do, I am trusting you. Matt, here is the last abstract Schofield. Started zero, $250 increments. 
Look at that. This is what Michael retail, what, whatever we've been putting up there, Julian, for his abstracts. He thinks they're going to be worth more than anything. That's Michael. I don't disagree, but I'm a big fan of his uh, landscapes. If you want, I'm starting at zero. You got to pay shipping on this because this is a heavy piece, Ashley. And oh, I got some other artwork coming up. Start at zero. Make it two hundred dollar increments. That's a bit of a dark piece, wouldn't you say, Wilson? When I see a piece like this, I think of my dad who died about a year and a half ago and an artist named Gabor Petterdy. And he painted darker paintings. And my dad would have one in his office behind his sofa and people would say, why don't you hang that painting? And my dad says, well, I do when I get too happy. So if you tend to get too happy, this painting might be for you. But I'll tell you what, no interest in this yet. Tell you what I am going to do next. Uh, hmm. I'll tell you what. Ashley, that's too heavy. I don't mean weight-wise. I mean, that's a heavy painting. No, I don't want to get that. Got that. Ooh. Tell you what, Ashley. I need you to tell people, explain this next painting. I'm going to turn. Look at that. Is that a dark painting, Wilson? Do you see that little streak of red in it, though, Wilson? Get the red in the middle, yes. You know what shade of red that is, Wilson? Well, the run more to your left is pigeon blood red. The one right down the center is Valentine's Day red. And I have no idea if that's correct or not. But you got some phthalo blues. Can you spell phthalo? I can't even say it. All right. It looks like it. It looks like a man standing before a country road. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good guess. Yeah, right. And we are, are we still at zero? Yeah. Zero going once. Zero going twice. All right, I am going to move the man off the country road. All right. This is a bizarre, this is the only Graham Stevenson I have left on this planet. Graham Stevenson. Inside the Eagle. Inside the Eagle. 608. 608. He died June 5th, 2022. Graham Stevenson won the highest award that an Australia artist can get. It's called the medal of the, of the, what is it called, Ashley? The honor, the, what is it, Graham Stevens? Hey, Ashley, what's the award he won, Graham Stevens? Yeah, I know, the country, Australia, but is it the order of the medal of Australia? The order. That makes it official, Wilson. It's like, you're ordered to do this, but I never do anything I'm ordered to do. Ever. So, Graham Stevenson died. Um, I, a, a rare neurological condition. I talked to him about, eh, about eight months before he died. 
he said the funniest thing to me, he said, I said, so what's wrong with you? And he said, my mom is mad at me. She says, why can't you die of something I can pronounce? And it's like, thanks. Folks, I'll tell you what, that's the last Graham Stevenson I have on this planet. He, 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 he put some color in your life, was his TV program, and played in 70 different countries. He is an ama was an amazing artist. He would pull up on his Harley and all kinds of places throughout Australia, New Zealand, United States. Started zero, $200 increments. That is the last Graham Stevenson I have. Nobody, this is the only Graham Stevenson. He titled it there and signed it right there. And I'll tell you what. Any interest in the only Graham Stevenson, his contribution to art was second to none. And folks, I have, I didn't get, get a chance to bring it to the studio. I have Umbrella Man, that is acrylic on canvas by Peter Max. It also has a registration number. It is a larger Peter Max. Give Ashley a call. If you are interested in that, I am down to my last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got nine Jake LaMotta checks. If you ever saw the Raging Bull, you saw the life story of Jake LaMotta. He just died a year, a year and a half ago. These were from the Jake LaMotta estate. And I have some signed Jake LaMotta checks from Miami. I also have, okay. Tell you what, let me make this choice very easy. Right here. Wilson. Right here. Second. I'm going to find one more Swiss franc. You know what? Wilson, I need you to come in just on those two coins right there. And I need the item number 
on the Helvetian Swiss francs. That is 0.1867 of an ounce of pure gold. Yes, I do. Uh, I have nine left. Tell you what, $69 each. The hand signed by Jake LaMotta. And you can even read who he made them out to. On these, Ashley, what is the Helvetia Swiss franc number? Two zero seven eight. Folks. If you want to get your kids something great, if they get A's, or just you want to get them a cool present, get them a gold coin, they will hound you. Why are we no longer in the gold standard, or are we? What, what, where is the gold that we have in Fort Knox? Is it really there? When people talk about money to me, I say gold is money, everything else is paper. That is gold. That has been the financial standard for thousands of years. That is 0.1867 pure gold weight. So in other words, and what was that number one more time? It's up there. Yes, uh, tell you what I'm gonna do. This is, this is cheap. $495, that's about a fifth of an ounce of gold. And I'm telling you, it's so dirt cheap right now. There are people like me that believe within the next four or five years, well, I mean, next two and a half, there will be another gold standard. What scares me is a gold standard might be coming out of China and Russia uh, pairing up for a new gold standard. That coin you're looking at, the Helvetia Swiss francs, most of my coins are from the 1820s, a few from the 1830s. Those coins save people's lives. That's what money used to be. It wasn't, there was no question the only thing that was ever debated was how many ounces of gold equal an ounce of silver. Or how many ounces of silver, my bad, does it take to equal one ounce of gold? It fluctuated a lot. 20 ounces of silver, 24 ounces. The standard for about 20 years was 18 ounces of silver to every one ounce of gold. That's real gold. If you're looking to get a teenager, somebody, any age, a gift. Think about gold. It will change them in a great way. 495. I have eight of these coins available. I have smaller gold coins. I have the two peso and the two and a half peso. They're, they're left. What did that just say? It didn't say that. It was very whimsical. Camera two. I got nine minutes left. Um, tell you what, Ashley, I'm going to sell this. These are etchings of Mickey Mouse and 
Pluto in love. All right. If you grab one of those. I got this one. Now look at that. Okay, we got um, item number 2618. You, you're going to argue that Pluto's not in love with that, Wilson? Pluto, that's an etching, too. It's just a balloon. All right. So, um, and who were the artists of this? Because these were pretty famous artists, weren't they? Yeah, they're um, Zoa and Lucas. Say it a little louder. Zoa, S-O-W-A. Zoa. And Lucas. And Riza. And that is an etching that's been hand-colored. And I think you see 1,400 plus. I'll tell you what. Should I sell them individually or together? I got some time. Let's stay, keep it on Pluto. Pluto is in love. And that is, is this Disney product? Did he work? They work for Disney. Oh, my goodness. That means you go to a Disney store at a zero or oh, I don't know how much. So on this one, Pluto in love, BC 2618, got a $1,400 list. He's in love, look at that. Matt, do you have a dog? I do. Do you have a dog? Wilson? Juliet? Do you have a dog? Matt, how does your dog show when he's in love? So, Matt, your dog is walking along the street and sees Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> I'll tell you what, yeah, these are $1,400. I'll tell you what, let's auction it. Start at zero. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's make this easy. 300 to open, $50 increments once we get the open. That is a Disney hand and signed. That is hand colored etching. Yes. Each, each. That's a very competitive price. I have. Well, I got some Swiss francs and some French francs. Right now, hang on, hang on. All right, here's a third. I got three Swiss francs. I got three Swiss francs and two French francs. French, hey, are they, Ashley, are the rooster coins the same as the Swiss francs? Are they about the same? Yeah, let's make a package deal. I got, all right, here, here's what we got. Here are the Swiss francs. Ooh, that's a little early. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, here. It is a French rooster coin. I have three roosters. But you know my problem with that, Matt? I got three roosters and only one hen. No, I'm, all right. Yeah. Swiss, French.
2577 on the French roosters. Hang on, is that a two, five, two what now? Four seventy nine. All right, so they're, they're approximately the same price. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six coins. All right, does you want a six coin deal? Ashley, let's work this nice customer. Uh, they are all the same weight and price. Uh, is the French franc, uh, is, a, is a franc exactly 1.867? I believe they are. They're so close, but hang on. Let's look that up. I know the Helvetia, 1867 on the Helvetia, and the Rooster. It is 1.867. Yes. They weigh the same. They weigh the same. About a little less than a fifth of an ounce, 0.1867. So I got six coins. Ashley. Work this person a deal on all six, something that uh, we all can live with. Let's give him a great last minute deal. Does he have any kids? No, you don't on gold. Does he have any kids? No, okay. Well, if you get any, offer him these. <laughs> All right, we're going to give you a great deal. Kent, I only have four, three minutes left. So what are you thinking? Ashley's going to add it all up. Ashley, you've given Kent the best. Uh, is it? Can I swear it's late enough? All right, you give Kent the best damn price on the planet. I need you to be Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batgirl. I need you to be a Bryce Buster. For all of them? Is that a good deal for us, for them, for everybody? I'm leaving it up to Ashley. She probably just... That is a hell of a deal, a biblical place deal. Is this what you want to charge him right there? Yeah, oh, that's a heck of a deal. And, folks, I don't know, this is getting ready to blast off. And it also ends in Wilson's favorite uh, two minutes. I was just going to say, if you say two real quick, what do you get? A tutu. <laughs> All right, I'm evil. No, I'm not. Kent. But, camera two, Kent, once I give you a better price, when you see me wandering around the streets, I got one minute left. I hope I'm back next week. I should be. If I'm not, it's Wilson's fault. Oh, no, it's not. It's mine. We're going to work you a great deal, Kent. I got less than a minute. I want to thank all of you. Next week, I'm hoping to have some $20 St. Gaudens and some great grades. I also have a major art buy going down that um, I don't want to jinx it just yet, but it's cool. So, so uh, hey, we love you. Buford, don't kick that dog. Don't even think about kicking that dog. You already got me mad, but I've never seen Wilson this mad at you, Buford. 
Him and the dog park that I take Ginger to. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Hey, we love you and thank you. We ship fast. And I will see you next Wednesday night. Be safe. Bye-bye. Thank you for making 33 years possible. Thank you.